This is Wimberley Hall, room 213, and I'm going to show you how the audio video system works in here. Up here at the teacher station, on the left hand side is our controller. It's going to control the projector, the audio, and the video. In the left hand side here, it says display power. I'm going to hold that button for about one second. Then it's going to click on and the projector is going to power up. It does take about a minute for that projector to power up and when the light stops flashing and goes a solid green, you'll know that it's ready. So while that's happening, we'll log on to the computer. I'm just going to pull out the keyboard tray and then follow the directions on the screen. Control Alt Delete to begin. Read the responsible use message. Click OK. My username is my UWL 8.4 username, just like the beginning of my UWL email address. My password is my UWL net ID. And then I'm going to make sure that third line says log on to Eagle. I'll click OK and that will get me onto the computer. Once I'm onto the computer, I have anything powered up. I come back over to my controller and I'm going to choose the source on the right hand side here. Since I want the PC, I'm going to click the PC button. And then whatever I have on the computer, it's going to show up on the big screen for me. The document camera is located on the right hand side of the teacher station. The power is in the back portion here. I'll turn the power button on. My advanced features are up here on the top, zoom and my autofocus, which you'll want to keep on unless you're doing something active and really changing that focal line. Once the document cam is on, I come back to the controller and hit the button labeled Doc Cam. Then whatever I'm doing on the document camera shows up on the screen for us. There's a DVD VCR in this room. If you had a VHS tape, put it in the right hand side and click the video button. A DVD would be on the left hand side and click the DVD button. Use the front panel controls or the remote control to control your DVD. Then come to the controller and hit the corresponding button. VCR for a VHS tape or DVD for a DVD video. And then your DVD will show up on the screen for you. And you'll notice that the volume turned up for us there and that's because I took this little volume knob here and turned it to the right. If I turn it to the left, our volume will go down. And we'll use that volume knob for whatever source we have. If it's a video on the PC, when PC is selected, that volume knob will control the PC audio. If it's our laptop audio or something else, our laptop controller will control that. So we're always going to use that volume knob. Everything you need to connect your laptop is here in the trap door on the top of the desk, including a power supply so that you don't have to rely on battery or run your cable across the floor. There's an audio cable, a video cable, and a network cable. I'm going to plug the video cable into my video card, the audio cable into my headphone jack on my laptop. And this is the audio cable that I can use for any other device I might have, like my iPod or MP3 player. Simply plug that in, make sure laptop is selected on our controller, and you can play whatever it is through your sound system. Now that my laptop is all connected, I come over to the controller, and I hit the button with the little picture of the laptop that says portable PC on there. And that's going to send the signal to the projector. Right now it's not showing anything and that's probably because I haven't told my laptop that I have a projector connected to it. The way I'm going to do that is to hold down the function key on my keyboard and tap the F8 key. On my computer it brings up a nice little menu. I'll choose duplicate so that whatever shows up on my screen will show up on the big screen. For you, you might need to click that F8 key a couple of times to scroll through the modes automatically. So then my laptop shows up on the screen for us. When I'm all finished with whatever it is I'm doing in the classroom, I come back over to the controller and I'm going to hold that display power button in one more time for about one second. And that'll click and it'll turn the projector off and that's very important to save the life of the projector bulb. And the last thing I'll mention is that here on the desktop is a written version of what I've told you in the video. And in the upper right hand corner are the names and phone numbers of the Academic Technology Services staff. If you ever need help during a class or have questions of any kind, please give us a call.